Well, new test scores out tonight, underscoring the impact of the pandemic and how it affected our kids and their learning, specifically when it comes to math and reading. The National Assessment of Educational Progress tested nearly 450,000 fourth and eighth graders across the United States. These are real benchmark type tests mm -hmm. and the math results had the steepest decline ever recorded. Only 26% of eighth graders were proficient or above wow. in math. That is down from just 34% in June. Now in reading only, 33% of fourth graders were proficient or above, and that's down from 35%. So the declines are definitely there. Three News' is Carmen Blackwell joins us now here on set. So Carmen, how did students here in Cleveland fare? Yeah, we're gonna break down the numbers. So we have to keep in mind too, that this test, it hasn't been given since 2019, which is before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And you have to keep the pandemic in factor here too, because it really did impact our children. So while 26 of the nation's major school districts saw NAEP test scores fall by more than 10 points in 2022, Cleveland saw the largest single drop, falling 16 points in fourth grade reading, along with a 15 point decline in fourth grade math. Now, the NAEP is known as the nation's report card. It tests fourth and eighth graders across the country each year. Now, this was the first time that the test has been given since 2019, as I just mentioned, before the pandemic. When the state's report card was released last month, high marks as we know it were given to Cleveland Metro schools. CMSD's Gap closing and progress scored four stars each. We were so proud of these kids, making CMSD uh, the number one urban school district in the state of Ohio. But on the national scale in both math and reading, Cleveland schools scored lower than those tested in 2019. Math scores have now seen the largest margins in the history of this test with an average score of 238 out of 500. The Cleveland Teachers Association is saying that the district has created a plan to catch these students up and the focus now is moving forward. We aren't just sitting on our hands and saying, oh, well, we'll get there eventually. Um, we have instituted the summer learning experience, opening up summer learning opportunities to students in grades kindergarten through 12, which is not something that we had been doing prior to the pandemic. Well, I also reached out to the CEO of CMSD schools, Eric Gordon. He tells me the COVID-19 pandemic is widely to blame for the reversal of the progress on math scores for these kids. The district plans to roll out an online tutoring program with live teachers for these students. Gordon also says that he's confident CMSD and its students, they will recover from this. It's, it may take some time, but there's a plan in place. And let's just sit back and let the teachers do their work and see these scores come up, mm -hmm. hopefully. And that is the hope. It's a, Those numbers hope. are uh, stunning. Staggering, um, I know. And I know that you know the pandemic is the underlying issue, obviously. Right. But the fact that our scores locally were down more than the national average is so disturbing because uh, you know it's so hard to catch up. It's hard it to make up that ground, and hopefully they do have a plan and they can execute it and get those scores going in the other direction mm -hmm. soon. Right. Thank Thanks, you. Carmen. Appreciate it, Carmen.